welcoming you back here to the Pensatola Sports Center. Great to have you on board with us. For Mason Stout and our entire outstanding ESPN team, my name is Mike Rubin, and UNC and the dual meet score leading 14-0 here at 157. It's Sam McMonagle of Brown and Austin O'Connor of the North Carolina Tar Heels. And O'Connor at 157, more than 100 victories in his career. Yeah, this guy is just a machine. Third place finish at 149 in the NCAA championships all the way back when he was a redshirt freshman in 2018-19. Like you said, over 100 wins. He was 25-1 and one in his redshirt sophomore season just before the pandemic. He is just outstanding at this weight class. This is one of two North Carolina oh. wrestlers all time. Nice trip sweep there to get McMonagle down. One of only two four-time All-Americans in uh, Tar Heel history. And uh, a year ago at the NCAA Championships, to tell you, had a, had a real tough go of things. Uh, was, was really banged up and fought his way to eighth place on the podium. And uh, had a couple of wins over ranked opponents a year ago. And this season has really picked up uh, where he realistically left off has O'Connor coming off of a major decision and uh, I'll tell you the uh, one of his only losses was against Dejan Casto of Pitt who we saw here a few weeks ago a transfer from the Citadel uh, who himself has had a fine career now McMonagall on the other side has been you know, in and out of the lineup to the tune of eight wins and eight losses. Keegan Rothrock's been uh, also a mainstay here at 157 for the Bears. O'Connor hanging on to McMonagall here, really denying, and there's going to be near fall back points for O'Connor as he did get him turned, and I think that's going to be a near fall three and should bring the point to point total to five nothing uh, depending on whether that was a near fall two or a near fall five for yep it was near fall two i didn't think it was near fall three uh who stretches the arm back trying to turn him and again very close was o'connor to coming back cross face and getting mcmonagle to his back for a second time and one of the things you'll see with o'connor He's not necessarily going to put up 20-plus points every matchup like it feels like Lockman McNeil does, but he is nearly impossible to score on, and he is just so patient, and boy, does he work you in that riding time. Already over two minutes, and we're not even done with period one. O'Connor is a uh, freshman, won 20 matches. As a redshirt freshman in 2019, 34 <laughs> and six then he went 25 and one didn't lose a match in uh, 2021 and then this year until recently again is ranked in the top three or four in the country depending on the poll you look at and obviously when you got as many all-american nods as he has and as many wins as he has. Oh, and uh, McMonagall's in trouble. Yep. yep. There's the fall. Once O'Connor released and got around, he had the pin within his sights and a fall victory at 157 for Austin O'Connor. And I tell you, he made very short work, got that chest to chest turn. And a pinfall for O'Connor makes it 20 to 0 in favor of the Tar Heels. Here we are at 165. Joey 